Hello and welcome to Silver Wheel Tarot. My name is April. Today I'm going to do another Soul Path Guidance reading for you all. And the reading we're going to start with today is going to be all about an unseen bend in the road on your path. Uh, this is going to be something that will show up for you within the next three months. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this Enchanted Map Oracle by Colette Baron reed for the nature of the bend. Uh, just to get an idea what this bend is about. As I was meditating prior uh, to the reading on the energies, it was very just mysterious, unknown, and I felt like we need to know what this unknown is about. Encouragement. Okay, so also I'd like to note that this unseen bend on your path, this guidance on it, this bend is not a fork in the road. It is not a diversion. It is not a split off from something that you intended to do or the direction you're going. It is still your path. It is just, it's like you're on a trail and you're walking, hiking forward and you see a mountain in the distance and you think there's this mountain coming up and you're mentally preparing to climb this mountain. But then right by the time you get to the base of the mountain, your path just goes, you know, like, just like deciding to, nope, guess what? Actually, it turns to the right and it goes around the mountain. Something like that. It is a, um, a bend in the road that you don't see coming that has a positive attributes to it for you so these are the decks that i felt very led to use for this reading it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze in the frame for you all so i apologize so i will show you this card again encouragement this is the nature of the bend in the road um, and I just don't have room to keep it in screen once I pull the rest of the cards. All right, so let's go ahead and pull a card here from the Crystal Reading Cards by Rachel Charman. And we're going to pull where you're coming from in your path and where you're going to. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the cards really quick for the different stacks here. So we have the first card represents the path your soul is on, the path itself. Okay, let me go ahead and move these a little bit here. Oops. The next card is going to be the spiritual embodiment, basically what shapes your reality on the path okay and the last card is the shifts in your path so essentially um the bend itself so i guess some more clarification on that okay the next card we have here for each i'm going to pull from the vibrational energy deck um, Debbie Anderson, love this deck. Again, I'm feeling to pull from the top, the middle, and the bottom. Same with this one here. This is the field guide to garden dragons. Um, not sure who this deck is by. I think I have it right here. Let me find out for you since I've been telling you the others. It is by... Well, let me see. What does it say on here? Artwork by Stanley Morrison, written by Arwen Lynch. Beautiful deck. Love that deck. Okay. Sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> um, last but not least, we're going to pull two cards from this deck. This is the Tea Leaves and Dreams Fortune Telling Cards. It is by Wisdom by KK. I was able to find this deck on Amazon, but it's outside of the US. So if you do decide to get that, it might take a while to get to you. I'm just gonna take top and bottom on these. Okay. 
Okay. Move all my stuff out of the way here and let's make sure we can see this for you. All right, so where are we coming from on the path? Ooh, rites of passage. Oh, that's cool. Love the energy of that. Very powerful. Matches nicely with the amethyst over here. And let's see where you're going and then we'll look at the middle cards. Ooh, courage. Mm, I'm sensing this as in, oh, this is fascinating. So it's, it's like you're entering the gate the way to the beginning of the path here over the next three months that the path itself um, is rites, is a rite of passage. And so this stack here representing the um, path that you're on is going to give us some more information on this path itself, the path of um, this rite of passage that you are going through. Okay, and then this courage card here, where you're headed to, this is really going to, mm, I feel like it's, it's the journey itself, right? If this is the entrance way, this is the beginning of the path, walking through the gateway onto the path. It is a rite of passage, the experience of the path you're on, um, currently over the next three months, um, it's going to take a lot of courage. And so it is bringing you to this point of intense amount of courage, right? So not forgetting that we have the bend in the road that we're focusing on, which probably has something to do with this courage card, but I was getting a strong sense. It's a very positive um, influence or experience that's coming in, in this bend in the road, that while it may take a lot of courage to get there and a lot of courage to go through it and get around that bend in the path that is where you're going to um, it's really going to be a beautiful thing we have that encouragement there probably some support or help along the way I would assume so this stack here for the shifts in the path since we're looking at the bend in the road anyways is going to give us some more insight on this encouragement um, what exactly it is I'm going to go ahead actually and place this under here for now because that's where I feel it belongs okay let's make sure we have some space here Let's go ahead and take a look at the path itself, this pass, this rite of passage. Wheel of Fortune. Wow, what a fantastic card to get for that. This is a very fortunate path that you are going on. This rite of passage, usually rites of passage are very, it's a big deal. You know, it's a big thing. Um, it's like this culmination and you're going through this experience. It's like, it's like the last, it's like the last, you know, 100 meters in a race that you're running or it's like the last battle you're fighting in a long stream, a uh, string of battles that you've been going through to accomplish something. It's the final step. It's the darkness before dawn, but it's so fortunate for you. It's, it is good. Okay. And we have dream catcher. I love how the dream catcher image is kind of over her third eye there and also her throat chakra she has a smaller one um, is the same type of design look at that wow can you see that how similar that is the design on those oh i love that okay so this might oh okay <laughs> <laughs> so I was getting instantly that it's an inner working to a certain degree because of the huge wheel of fortune, this symbol, this dream catcher in the third eye, but then it's also voice activating. So these are connected. This is bringing 
okay? So what I'm hearing is this is bringing your ability to see through your third eye down into your heart area and speak it out through your voice. Very authentic energy, uh, divine source information, a channeler perhaps, yes, yes. This ability to channel information from the divine. Ooh, I didn't see that coming. That's powerful and it's with the purple. I mean, that's just perfect. Okay, what else do we have on this path? Strawberry dragon, celebration. This is a time for celebration. You've done the work with the little bee in there. Strawberries are so sweet. You've got the white divine. Uh, reminds me of the divine here. And you've got this moon in the back that really is almost strawberry colored. Which reminds me of blood moons and because while we don't have them very often, every single time there has been a blood moon, it has been for me personally in my my magical, spiritual, divinatory, everything um, path, kind of all interweaved together here, it has been very significant and a time of celebration. So that might be something to look forward to as well, just as a side note for some of you that the next time we have a blood moon, there might be something significant coming for you at that time as well. Okay. Bell, beginning and ending. Mm, okay, and owl, miss misfortune no i don't know about that when i saw that like you know you don't always just so you know i mean a lot of you are watching might not be readers yourselves but intuitively reading off the cards i don't always go based off of what's written on them um, i may go off of the images i might go of, off of information that's coming in from um, spirit guides or just divine information, psychic abilities, that type. You know, there's lots of different ways to say it. Um, but I go with what the information is that it just looking at it, you know, is right. And when I saw this, this uh, owl here, it reminded me of when I went on a walk this morning on my, when I was almost done, I saw an owl and it was you know, it's going at the time of like the sunrise. So it was still that in between time. And, you know, the owl must have been flying back from a long night of hunting. And what came to my mind when I saw the owl at that time was this wisdom. Because at the beginning of my walk this morning, I saw a dragonfly. And I'm being reminded of this right now in the reading, which is why I'm sharing it. Um, that it represented this progression of this learning and teaching, right? So dragonflies for me represent like sometimes that you have really learned something and now it is your time to share it and teach it with others. And along that journey of teaching something, you gain a lot of wisdom. So to have seen this dragonfly at the beginning of the walk, the path, oh my gosh. Okay, so I just made that connection. It was the beginning of a walk down through to the end of the walk, from the beginning of the path to the end of the path. Then there was this great owl that I saw that represented me. I saw and I was thinking of wisdom, you know, how owls represent and hold such wisdom. And with the bell here, you have the beginning and ending. So, this rite of passage that you are going through is going to be like you are going on this beautiful walk or journey in nature and connecting to energy, to everything, to the divine. It is a very beautiful and fortunate, almost kaleidoscope type energy 
um, realizing and recognizing your dreams in the sense that you will also be able to, along this path, it's, it's activating within you this energy of being able to channel information from the divine, from source, and being able to clearly get the information, bring it down to your heart, and then speak it out and teach it to others. And along this journey, um, this path, this rite of passage, path that you are on over the next three months, um, you're going to go from this beautiful place this mystical whimsical beautiful place of having learned and starting to teach and show and share your wisdom with others and this could be any any area of life right like it's, it could be um you know like i'm doing here you could be sharing divine information with others but it could also be in the area of your career your life path your purpose for being here in this lifetime. So maybe your purpose is to be a writer. Then this is the beginning, the, the initiation or the rite of passage into that. If you are a, um, I don't know, a professional baseball player or um, someone who has a, you know, maybe a nurse or a career in um, psychology I mean anything really it could be anything is what I'm trying to express but it is at that point that you are able to receive in the information this divine knowledge um, can be in any area of life is what I'm trying to say it is this wisdom this knowing this deep wisdom that you are gaining that is coming from source you are processing it in your heart. You are able to speak it out through your throat chakra. You are able to share it with others. And you yourself are going to also gain great wisdom by the end of this, this path. It is an activation of sorts, a rite of passage to have this divine gift um, for whatever path you are on at this time your actual your calling your life's calling yeah okay what shapes your um your path here the the embodiment of the path let's see what we have here ace of coins the beginning of a prosperous time oh my gosh look at how they're walking through the gateway <laughs> onto a path and it's kind of winding. There's a bend in the, oh my goodness. You know, I love when synchronicities are like that. And I, t I swear, spirit's got a sense of humor. Okay, so you're at the beginning of a prosperous path. Moonbeams and filled with waterfalls. So again, it's like being out in nature, just completely surrounded by beauty. Um, with the waterfall here, I do see that there could be some emotional ups and downs. You've got the calm um, riverbed here. You've got the waterfalls in the distance where the water is turbulent, but you've got the moon as well. But she's got a very calm look on her face. So overall, I'm seeing it as a very pleasant experience. But be careful not to fall for the trappings of... Um, rocks in the road right you want to make sure that you step over any like rocks or holes in the ground or you know things like that you don't want to trip up on things emotionally so do watch out for that moderation yeah so that's what's going to get you there that moderation. So while it's an exciting, new, beauty-filled, excitement journey um, leading you towards some great prosperity, really, your path, your life's calling, um, it, 
it's going to take a bit of moderation on your part too. This, I'm sensing this might be that you're on this path to prosperity, but maybe you don't quite have that prosperity yet. You have what you need to meet your needs, but you can't go living a lavish lifestyle is what I'm hearing. You you want to make sure that you're dotting your I's and you're crossing your T's with your finances or resources. This doesn't have to be about money. This could very much be about maybe you have a certain amount of resources to create something. Maybe your life path has to do with a creative project. Maybe you've got limited resources. You want to use those resources wisely. Don't waste anything. Um, turkey vulture popped into my mind. Nothing is wasted. Everything is used and use it wisely. And you have the ability to do this. So it's just something you need to be aware of. And that might be where this emotional ups and downs come in. Um, just because the waters are rough doesn't mean you have to be flailing and freaking out like you could be on a river raft ride and having the time of your life so it is perspective also so okay so what i'm hearing is spirit slowing me down a little bit here when you have a challenging time come in possibly emotionally we're going to use finances as an example. Um, take the time to just be diligent about it. Pay attention to it every day. If it is the area of finances where things are tight or some other resource, whatever it is. For example, if you would typically balance your checkbook every two weeks, you know, sit down and spend two or three hours paying all your bills, balancing all your books. Instead, you might want to spend 15 minutes a day every morning. Wake up. What's, is my checkbook balanced? Yes. Is my budget balanced? Yes. Do I have everything I need? Yes. Do I have any unexpected uh, things coming up? Oh yeah, I forgot. Five of my friends have birthdays this month. Where am I going to get them, you know, I'm going to get them a gift. So something like that, right? It could be, it could be anything, but Spirit is just saying to do everything in moderation, not in excess, and to just pay attention to what you're doing. The energy in this reading for me feels very hyped up, so I apologize if I'm speaking very loud. I feel like I'm speaking loud and quickly. Um, caterpillar, inner growth. Mm -hmm. So you are headed towards this courage and a bit of strength, right? With this, you're growing you are developing and learning along the way. So in order to, if you're going to a place of abundance, all right, this path, this beautiful blessing, this divine gift that is being activated within you, that is part of your soul's path and your life's journey and it's time, in order to be able to hold all the blessings that it's going to bestow on you, including possibly some pretty good financial outcomes for you, you need to know how to be able to hold that responsibly. Okay, it's a huge responsibility. This gift and everything that you gain from it and everything you are able to share to, with others because of it is a huge responsibility. And so this passage itself, the, the what is shaping your path is this growth that you're achieving along the way. Three months is relatively a very short amount of time. We like to think of um, things like taking a test and then you find out I passed or I didn't pass and it's a very quick, right? Well, this rite of passage, it's going to take a little bit of time, though in the whole scheme of things, it's really a very short amount of time. But when you're in it, you might lose track of time. You it, Things might seem fast or they might seem slow, again, with the ups and downs. Um, so it's important to remember that you are growing and you are learning how to balance and be responsible and 
do things in moderation. This okay. So spirit is saying this is not just this is not just like in the area of money or resources. It is in the area of relationships. It is in the area of personal health and well-being. It is in the area of learning. It's moderation in everything, finding a balance and finding a way to basically juggle all those balls that you're holding, all these things that you're taking care of, and the growth along the process. It's actually a very beautiful thing. Let's flip over the last one, spider. <laughs> ah, new beginning, I love that. It's a beautiful thing. You are basically weaving the tapestry of your future right now. And you gain so much strength. Um, I said the weirdest thing pop into my head. So do you, I think it's from the movie 300. I don't know if any of you have seen that where in the beginning, the kid goes out and to, that's like a rite of passage, right? To go out and be, go from being a child to being a man and having to hunt a great beast and bring it back. It is an experience where you are starting in one space, but once you have gone through this beautiful, sometimes thrilling, maybe sometimes exhilarating to the point of a little bit scary. <laughs> um, you might be tested a little bit in your willingness to push your personal boundaries. This could be as easy as are you willing to get up and on a stage and talk in front of people? Maybe you never thought that your path was going to take you there. It could be something like that. In the movie 300, the beginning, the kid was, child was hunting a beast and once he was able to achieve that I apologize for the gruesome energy um, imagery that may give for some of you but it's the example I'm being given um, this rite of passage he then comes back with his prize and is now a man and that experience the amount gained from it the the culmination of all these things that you have learned over time weaving them together to create your future, to be able to fully step into it and be able to hold it, to hold space for it, to stand in it with confidence and strength and power and be able to embody this new you, this beautiful gift that you are stepping into, I see. So, so something else Spirit was just showing me is that it is like, it is a gift, yes, but in the same way that growing through life from a child to a teenager to a young adult to an adult to a, you know, even the, the thought process of like mother, maiden, crone, this procession of this process, it is a gift, but it is also destined. It is also, it is, it's going to happen. It's who you are. You just can't quite you don't know what it's going to be like till you get there. Okay. So beautiful. Okay. So powerful messages here. Let's keep going. I don't even know how long this video has been going, but this might be a little bit longer one. All right. So now we are finally to this bend in the road, which is what the, the reading was about reminding us that the bend in the road is encouragement. That's the nature of it. Okay, I'm going to set it up here so you can kind of see the word encouragement. Knight of Cups, beautiful energy. You may have some support and some assistance along the way kind of like a knight in shining armor, but this could come in the form of a friendship or a, um, a mentor or someone you look up to. Um, this could also be someone on equal standing as you that, um, more like a friendship that, you know, maybe you help each other in a way, 
um, but the cup is extended. It is a, um, a kinship of sorts, a friendship, a relationship, could be, could be a mentor. A feel, a feeling for most, it's probably more like a, a friendship. Um, to give you that encouragement along the way. You don't see this person coming in. You can't even anticipate who it is or in what way. Um, so if at the time of this reading and you're listening to it and you're thinking, oh, well, who do I know that this could be? It might be somebody you, you know but don't know well yet, but it could also be somebody very new. But it is going to be a surprise. You're going to get to this bend in the road and go, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. Where did this bend come from? I guess we're going in this direction now. And being a rite of passage, it's it's not someone who's going to do anything for you or give you the answers, but it is a support, an encouragement, um, someone along the way who can say, yes, you're going in the right direction. You're, you're doing a great job. Keep going. Um, kind of like a support system in a way. Let's find out some more information about that. Openness, ooh, someone you can talk to, someone you can share your experiences with. <laughs> I love how, so a, a lot of symbolism lately I've been seeing of, of cages being open and, and coming out of a cage, a bird flying out of a cage, this sense of freedom and expansiveness. Um, that many people have been experiencing this year on their paths, this openness and freedom. But I love how the dove in this image is carrying the cage <laughs> um, and is using this cage as a source of wisdom and a beacon of light, an example to others. So this person or this it could be an experience also for some of you. It could just be an experience that brings you a great sense of um, encouragement and support. But it's also, it's like a beacon of light for you. But at the same time, it's helping you become a beacon of light to others. It's very open, giving, sharing energy. Very beautiful. Friends, okay, friends, friendship. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't get much clearer than that. I, I do still sense that with the, in the image on this encouragement card, it's kind of like a mother with a child. I do get a sense that there could be for a couple, a few of you out there, maybe, you know, it could be someone Sorry, I'm the spirit is saying no. It's not it's not that. So it's really it's it's like a friendship. Yeah. Okay, so the reason I'm getting this example of maybe this mentorship or a mentor or um you know someone to that's maybe a little more experienced this feeling of that is is that is a warning yeah um i'm going to be careful with using that word but i feel like yes that's the word they're giving me warning to make sure that when this beautiful bend comes in the road this friendship this this guiding light but it's the the thing is the the warning is to not fall into feeling like this person is a guiding light for you to guide you this person this friendship or this very encouraging experience is not meant to be your leader it is meant to walk side by side with you to be an encouragement a support a friend someone to speak to, a shoulder to cry on. Um, 
I'm sensing that some of you may have in the past had some struggles with building up your self-confidence. Um, perhaps you have dealt with a lot of um, gaslighting in the past where you knew who you were and then somebody told you you or made you feel like you weren't that and you came to the point of maybe almost believing it and then pulling yourself out of it. So it's it's very important in this to know that you have grown and you have healed from that and to not, not dip back into the mistake of thinking that things are going to be the, the way they were before or that someone's going to guide you or that you don't have the same equal amount of wisdom and knowledge and experience to share and grow through. Um, friends oftentimes are very different people. So it's important to, in this bend in the road, this new beautiful friendship, to not look at someone who is different in many ways from you as being better or more experienced or the more enlightened one or the one who knows what to do okay this is a mutual equal ground standing spirits bringing me back to the scene from 300 i mean i haven't thought of that movie in ages you guys <laughs> um it's like that kid going out to to hunt to become a man and coming across another kid from another tribe somewhere doing the same exact thing and they both happen to find at the same time they each have their own um you know beast to slay or challenge to overcome or a uh, rite of passage to go through but they have kinship and support and friendship they can walk side by side on their their paths that's what it is oh my gosh you're both on the same path for a while or your paths are literally side by side i'm hearing multi-dimension multi-dimensional um same space same time different dimensions maybe but in the same on the same level i don't know that's really kind of i think i'm trying to wrap my mind around this in in a way that we probably don't need to overthink it um it's a relationship where you're both on different paths um maybe one is an accountant and one's an art teacher that's a good example okay and you are going through this rite of passage to become who you are to finally live this journey that is who you are and you will have this divine guidance and downloads and be able to share with others and just be this wonderful person um, who gives to communities and is able to share and help others in whatever area of life you're in this accounting or art teacher um, but you can walk side by side okay so just because someone is maybe um, in finance and has a degree in finance doesn't mean that they are better than someone who is an art teacher who is self-taught whoever is coming in for you you're on equal standings you're just very different so that that's the warning that that not to fall into that but that, that this is a friendship and that's why the significance of coming in this imagery of me of of mentor is they're they're not your mentor but they are there to encourage and help you equally as you are there to encourage and help them okay let's see what these other cards are rainbow optimism oh my gosh we have this shining white light from this cage. It's like, look, I got out of the cage and it's like a star and a beacon to others. And then it's like forming this rainbow, this optimism that is just infectious to everybody around you. Um, 
and those that you share things with that everyone says, look, if, if this dove can do it, like this dove is carrying that cage, like, look what I did. You can do this too. <laughs> um, and you're going to have that in this friendship as well for each other. You'll be able to remind each other, look what we each did. Look how amazing that is. You're going to be able to do that. Fly anxiety. Okay, so anxiety. So the anxiety comes in. Again, it's that this warning. I feel like with this bend in the road, this is a rite of passage, remember, this, this journey that you're on. It's going to take courage. It's going to bring you to the point of courage. Oh, okay. So, for example, you're on this path, like, again, to the 300 scenario. <laughs> the movie 300, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's like Roman Empire time or something, battles. And anyways, in the beginning, this kid goes out on this path, and he's going through this whole journey to, you know, and become a man but the final action is like right after you know you have this bend in the road and it's going to take a lot of courage it's bringing you to the point of realizing how much courage you actually have embracing that courage and embracing it stepping in it and moving forward in your courage in order to do this so In the next three months, in this bend in the road, it's going to give you an opportunity that you would not have otherwise had through this rite of passage, through this friendship as well, or this experience that brings encouragement. I really feel it's, it's like a friendship coming in in some way. You're going to be tested a bit. You're going to be pushed a little past your comfort zone to really step into this, this courage. That kid in that movie, he had to have courage to, to slay that beast to become a man. And it may have been frightening. A little bit of anxiety. But you know when that, that's what it is. When that anxiety pops up, that, that anticipation... <laughs> Somebody once told me, might have even been my husband, <laughs> he said, you get anxiety instead, think of it as an ex excited anticipation instead of being anxious to kind of give yourself a different mental twist on it. And um, that fits. You know, when that anxiety comes up, when that point comes up where you have an opportunity to do something and you go, Oh, that would be so cool, but oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do that, right? If your first impression is, oh, I got to do that, that would be awesome. And then your very next thought is like, oh, like your heart sinks into your stomach and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a little scary. I don't know if I can do this. That's a sign. You got to do it. That's your rite of passage right there. You can do it. You can get through it. Um, and that's where your friendship is coming in here too, to remind you so you can show each other, look, you already got out of that cage. You are free. You are expansive. You are capable. You are beautiful. You are everything that you need at this time. And you will be able to um, get through that experience. What a powerful message, you guys. I is not anticipating that at all. Um, it's a bit of a mystery for me, too, when I was, you know, trying to think of this, you know, meditating on it, um, on the reading. And it was kind of like a mystery, right? And he didn't know until it unfolded. And I feel like that's an additional message for this. The next few months for you, whatever time you're getting this message, this it you have the Wheel of Fortune here. This is a beautiful time. You're going to have the Knight of Cups in a friendship. Um, and you are on the beginning of a new prosperous path here. You are being activated and awakened and stepping into to this next level of who you innately are. Um, but you may not see it until things unfold. Okay, you've got that, that mystery here. So 
when you're tested to grow, to step up, step up, do it. You've totally got this. All right, that's what I have for you today. Be blessed. I will see you all next time.